Now, that murder investigation comes hours after a new crime-fighting bill cleared a major hurdle in the district. Today, the D.C. Council preliminarily approved sweeping changes to how the district handles suspected criminals. But the legislation advanced without a critical and controversial provision. News 4's Walter Morris continues our team coverage of D.C.'s crime crisis. All those in favor of the bill say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The ayes have it unanimously. With that vote, the controversial crime bill secured D.C. moves toward a second vote. The legislation would increase penalties for gun crimes, make it easier for judges to order pretrial detention for violent crimes, change rules for when police can pursue a vehicle, expand the definition of carjacking, and address retail theft. Council's preliminary approval comes after months of heated debate. The act seeks to expand pretrial detention, which means putting legally innocent people into cages pretrial. We're also opposing the anti-mask section of the bill. After the vote, Mayor Muriel Bowser taking to X, urging council to move quickly. And her message comes after another violent night in the district. Monday, three people shot here on Quarrel Street Northeast around 9.30 p.m. And just over an hour later, one man shot on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue Southeast near Sterling. First thing I did was call 911. This resident has lived in the area for decades, and with the shooter still out there, he asked we not show his face. Often hear gunshots in this area, but those seem like they were right next door. In this home security video obtained by News 4, you can see two people walking down MLK around 1045. It appears they exchanged words and then shots fired. Neighbors say this shooting is just the latest example of violent crime in their community, and they have this urgent message for district leaders. That's what they get paid for, and that's what our tax dollars uh, go towards. So we, we want them to do the job, and we need to get people who do these things uh, off the streets. And at last update from police, that victim is expected to survive. If you know anything that can help with this investigation, call MPD. In the district, Walter Morris, News 4.